All right, folks, the deck is Dead Man's Hand Warrior. The goal of the deck is to draw quickly through our deck using Risky Skipper, Battle Rage, and other cards in our deck such as Cold Light Oracle and Shield Block to get to the end of our deck so that we can start going infinite with Double Dead Man's Hand, shuffling Cold Light Oracles, Zephyrus's, and whatever other cards that we need for the late game. Once we're there, we can mill our opponents indefinitely or Take advantage of multiple copies of Zephyrus to lock out the board by playing Cold Light Oracle Hero Power plus Zephyrus into Frost Nova to prevent the opponent from attacking. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash Raffle. Watch this! The forest fights back. All right. Um, against Druid, we're probably going to want some early game re removally things like Risky Skipper. Um, maybe Armor Smith. Town Crier, just anything we can just drop in the early game. Town Crier's good. Uh, Acolyte of Pain. Dirty Rat might be good on two if we <laughs> if we get indication that, that it is uh, Agra Druid, which it is, so. That is not going to be active for a while, but we do draw pretty quickly through our deck, so we'll see what we can do. Hey, I got you, friend. I think I might coin out the Eternium Rover here. Let's see what this pulls. That's a bad outcome. I need to be able to shield slam that next turn. It's one of the few, like, bad things that could happen to me there. Hey, Quatch. How are you doing today? So they clearly don't have an AoE buff, right? Oh, okay. Hey Samus, doing all right. How about yourself? Let's uh actually, since they've got two, it doesn't feel like there's that much incentive to just clear one, and um, we'll just deal with this over the course of a few turns, and also take some damage. Apparently, the brawl draw also helped. Um... Wow, double brawl draw. Also help dictate my uh, game plan here. So. Was it wild? I don't know about that. So we're just gonna brawl this coming turn, especially if they they dump their hand, which they're likely to do, given that they have the uh, the second reader up. I have more to give. Molly Mock. Thank you for that gifted sub. That makes an outrageous 465 in the channel. Thank you so much. Wow. I'm glad Twitch is counting because I don't think I could count that high if I, if I took a day. Molly Mock, thank you for gifting out two more subs. All right, there goes their board for now. We should be able to stabilize off the back of this. Their both readers are gone, so that to kind of uh, Molly Mock. Thank you for three more gifted subs. Is this a uh, a gift pyramid in the works? How concerned am I about that? I, I think getting on board is fine, right? If we just leave this, if I kill that, they have three on board. That's six, eight. 13 damage, 12 damage, 13 damage with the hero power. That's not nearly enough to be concerning, so. Maybe I actually killed this one because um, that does more damage. Add more card draw. Thank you for the nine months. Oh my God. We actually die here? No. Double Pump has a run of Extra Star Whip, High Mountain Ice, Room for Mana Spice coming right up. Thanks for all the entertaining content. Really appreciate that. Alright, so I have some regrets, but next turn is looking good, so I just need to survive this turn, right? Dope Guy, thank you for the 100 bits. Fresh cut? It is indeed. It was uh, long overdue, but I was waiting for things to, like, a conundrum. be less catastrophic here. <laughs> All right, next turn we play this and then we probably win the game from there. Hey, welcome, King. 
Glad you made it to a stream. Glad you're liking the YouTube. Oh my god, we're getting so close to death. <laughs> I'm sure they'll trade though, right? Yeah. They've already indicated, willing indicated a willingness to do so, so... Not that surprising, but we get 10 armor. You cannot win that one. That is for sure. Yeah, the weapon was a, a bummer, but it, like, it was one of the cheaper things that I was offered there. I didn't really have much alternative. These are both good in the early game, regardless of what type of mage it is. Have you seen or played Turbo Yog? I don't know what that's referring to. Like what class? If this is a uh, Reno Mage, we should have a pretty easy matchup. Rogue? How does How does Rogue rush down a uh, or rush a Yog? That doesn't. Excuse me. You are on fire. That does not compute. This is a really good draw. Uh, this turn. I'm gonna hit there. Play around Duke. And then just take this trade. Ever played Yogg Shutterwalk many times, yes. It's one of my favorite things to do in Shaman. Uh, let's just attack face. Rock the Flame Ward and then. I think I'm just going to punch I face still. Not be denied. I could also coin into... Nah. I will not be denied. This should be a pretty easy win from here. I could play Town Crier to play around explosive runes. So we lose the potential to gain some armor, but not even that much, and um, it's like the safer line. There's no reason to take risks here when we're in an advantageous position. Do I leave that up? Mm, I don't want to attack face in this spot. I think Armor Smith might be my most valuable card in this spot. Time to Strike. They can ping this, but I still get two, uh, two points of life on my Armor Smith so that I can recycle the second skipper. We have many secrets. You're not ready for this. I haven't seen a duplicate yet. For whatever that's worth. Embrace the chaos. Alright. Um Reno Priest. We wanna have just mill them. This is probably a good matchup. We gain armor. And then like um hold light them. Rawful is now sitting. Thank you for the eight months of prime. Appreciate that. Well, we gain some armor here, don't we? Uh, you have enough mana. If I could play the right card. Can you explain why Zephyrus is in Dead Man's Hand Warrior? Yeah, because you draw through your deck so quickly that you can activate it pretty easily with an empty deck. And the idea is that you can chain infinite Zephyrus with, um, in the late game to perma-freeze their board with, um, Frost Nova. Eh, maybe just Hero Power was better there, but... 
Maybe this is this works out a little bit better if they play a loot hoarder or a novice. It probably even just blocks them from playing those. Oh, that was nice. Thank you. Brawl is not a good card in this matchup, but. I mean, we just saw a mass dispel. It's not like this is getting silenced, right? If power is what you seek, knowledge is what I provide. And shield slam that and keep going face. Alright, we're not gonna burn the Kazaka, so I just need to stack armor, which is gonna get more difficult now that this is silenced. That's kind of a bummer. Bio Sandwich, thank you for gifting that sub to Raffle Acolyte. Appreciate that generosity. Thank you for supporting the cold of Raffle. Hmm. I don't think I want to just shove that without a uh, skipper, so I want to draw into Anchor. Oh man, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get the um, the Raza because you just play it as soon as you top deck it, right? Like it'd be in play right now if they hit it. Unless I make them draw and then jam the rat. I think that's my only chance. I don't think it's likely that it's gonna hit because they still have Anduin. They drew Anduin, they've still got Psychic Scream, Reno, uh, potentially a Light Bomb or something. But if they had one of those in hand at the beginning, it might work, so I'm just gonna go for it. Because this is, like I said, my only chance of making it work. Was not expecting that. That means they that was uh that was the card they drew for turn on four. There's the Reno. I mean, apparently that hits one of the win conditions. I don't know. I haven't seen a uh, Prophet Velen in a long time. Maybe that means they're not running spawn, but that seems sketch. Just gonna have to cycle this. So much to get hit. Yep. Cool. This is the Raza, unfortunately, but uh, we do have the uh, potential to gain some armor off of this cargo. If I feel so inclined. Uh, I could brawl this and then hold light. Because I might want to shuffle some more of the uh, the Kargath Primes into my deck, right? Must burn them all. Could also just go here, here, and here. I don't really want to shuffle the brawl is the thing. So I'd have to brawl after the, uh, hmm. or dead man's after the brawl. Hit him with the gnome for Atu. This is the second pull kilt already, so. What if I bump first? Does that help me? I think I like just dumping the brawl. Get an additional copy of um, both Kargath and Cold Light Oracle into my deck. If I just played this out, the problem with that is they are going to shove Anduin and I was going to be sad about it because that would be my only Kargath and then it just dies immediately, so... Okay. Did 
shouldn't be that terribly difficult from here. We just uh, draw cards and stack armor. That's card draw. That's armor. There you go. Have some more. And a mind blast as well. I want to save the um, skipper for the armor smith turn. Especially with all these minions on the board. Rip. Nice hero power. Are they just like, are they conceding? Did they forget that they have a hero power? Someone is tilted? Yeah, I think that's probably the best explanation. Wait until they see what's coming down next turn. Oh, there they go. Okay. Draws me two cards. Play this and then it draws me three. So much rage. Now it draws me zero. I missed one damage. Oh my god, I'm such a fool. No, I never mind. The skipper came out this turn. Uh we're at 56 health. I don't think Spawn of Shadows can kill us from here. They've already played Reno. <laughs> I think we're in a pretty good spot. I can just uh, Dirty Rat and then run a car gap into it. Should be a free win from here. Alright, they remember to hero power already, so that's pretty good. We're all dumped to reduce them in deck. Um, eventually, yeah. But it shouldn't be that hard to dump. I've got... I've got double one drop and a acolyte of pain. I can I can dump it later. So I would rather just uh, I would rather just dirty rat and Cargath to like completely demoralize them. Wait, they actually they actually don't run spawn of shadows. Okay, thanks. I, I mean, I could steal all of these if I wanted with the psychic screen. <laughs> How did they get another Reno from the Ray's Dead? Hmm. I don't think I care about the Reno. I just burst him down for infinity. I'm not sure what they expected to happen there, but I don't think you need a win condition in Dead Man's Hand Warrior other than just Cold Light Oracles to burst down to your opponents. There are better return one plays. I want to find, I want to draw this off of Anchor. What is with Yogg? Uh, he is the best card ever made. That's what's with Yogg. Job's done. Let's play this out. It could still be Aggro Druid, but it seems kind of unlikely. If it's if it's Combo Druid, I do just want to stack armor and find the dirty rats if I can. So, this helps me stack some armor, I suppose. Especially if I can like I'd be happy to top deck a risky skipper here. Which is not <laughs> often something that is the case. I don't want to commit too hard into um, poison seeds because this is a board that the opponent probably wants to poison seeds. So swipe is fine. Gives me a dead mi or a so battle rage. Much rage. Clear yes, it is. 
Cool. Uh, we're still gonna need more armor than this. A video editing software do I use? I use uh, DaVinci Resolve. It's free and effective. This might bait out a um, second swipe. But I really do want the Dirty Rats. Mally Druid? Yeah, that's what it looks like at least. I do need to like keep an eye out for the possibility of it being Tog, so I just need to hang on to the double dead mans if I can. Otherwise they get it and then we're sad. Hey, you're welcome, Sensible Steve. Thank you for the kind words. Glad you made it to a stream. Well, seems like a no-brainer. It's good for me, it's bad for the opponent. My hand overflows. I ain't talking. When you split your soul apart. Let the pain know your worth. Okay. That limits some of their burst, but doesn't necessarily win us the game like their other uh, combo pieces would. It does also tell us that it's uh, Mally Ghost, so. You're welcome, Commander. Glad you made it. Ooh. Uh oh. Do you want to find that second dirty rat now? I'm just gonna fish hard for it here. Uh, so instead, it draws me two for one mana. Feel like we're pretty far out of range of their combo. I'll make you a real My people are addicted to it. Zeph is active. I don't think we're in danger of dying here, are we? Maybe we are. They've got um, one Moonfire double roots and another swipe. Yeah, we're dead. No, we're not. I'm running out of cards. One more roots. I think it has to be Twist. We've seen both swipes. Saw double Moonfire. The Living Roots was generated. I think it has to be Zeph. Yeah, both swipes were played. One of the swipes was played early. So it's Bio Project, Spreading Plague, Ferocious Howl, Juicy Psychmelon. Three after the Brawl. It would have to be one of these would have to live for it to hit a... Um, I think it just has to be another. Your wish is my suggestion.
Because the biggest... The biggest issue would be if Maligo survived and they were able to get one more spell through or something. Now the problem is, is if they do have, like, two spells or something. Well played. Are we gonna get cubed here? What? <laughs> we drew them right into their combo like an idiot. Bam Bam Boozler, thank you for the 100 bits. Your gem and a gentleman, thanks for the reminder. Always happy to help, you're welcome. Um, what is this, Big Shaman? I think the brawls are gonna come in handy if that's the case. Nope, not Shaman, okay. Well, the brawls are gonna come in handy nonetheless. I maybe wanna coin this out next turn, so I'm gonna hang on for a minute. A gem tollman, if you will. I mean, you're welcome too. If you'd like. I don't want that continuing to get value. This should be a fine matchup, though. The problem is they might get, like, Rush Lackey and be able to value trade into that, which is a nightmare. Or they have Totemic Reflection, but I feel like they would have played that last turn. So unless it came off the top, they're probably fine. No. No. Your totems have enough health, thank you. Jeez! Okay. No, it's fine. Uh, that just sets up for a good brawl. Let's... Let's see if we can hit a shield slam to... Maybe relieve some of the pressure. I don't think that we need to play for a perfect value here, so shield slam is fine. Like, the brawl should be able to do plenty of work, unless I die. They don't have much refill, and they've only got two cards, so even if even if a 5-5 survives, which is a possibility, it's not the end of the world. That's incredible. I mean, it could be worse. play both of these. Even if they cycle for one, I'm fine with it. There's some upside. Idiot totem. Unlucky. Thanks. Yeah, I, I repeat, uh, thanks. Seems a lot better than, well I can still shield slam, no I can't shield slam, but this seems a lot, one big minion is better than a wide board here. I just want to get rid of the totems. And we'll deal with that next turn. I mean, this is still pretty good, right? Or I could draw two. Let's draw two. So much rage. Try and find the other shield slam, maybe. So much rage. It's also fine. Job's 
done. It's not so much that like there's a big threat of a Flame Waker popping off, but they do run zero mana spells, and it just has a higher health total that um, it's kind of more annoying to deal with. Elements I like, totems I love. And if we hit the skipper, we're just like flying into this, which is kind of my goal. Ever played Elemental Mage? Yeah, I played a few different versions of it, I believe. Play two of these. Drink your blood. Eat your flesh. Drink your blood. Eat your flesh. Dirty Red is the only um, remaining uh, duplicate in my deck. This is a Reno Dead Man's Hand. No. Uh, we just activate Zephyrus by drawing our deck. Figured that would be out there eventually. Got another brawl. Again, we've got a board advantage even. I don't see how the opponent wins this. I wonder. There is little time. Oh! Why Zeph? Because he's a good card. In the end game, we can infinitely cast. Uh, um, Frost Nova's to lock the opponent off the board. I will have my and like, all I have to do is play Cold Light Oracle if I really wanted to get him active. There's just no need right now because I want to shuffle him. Trick totem, no, leave it! You leave that totem! Good job. I like this opponent. Could you repeat that? Look at the size of their gigantic brain, too. Oh. oh. Well, their brain shrank a little bit when they <laughs> got the moat lur lurker out. Oh no. What is that secret? Uh, I never kill the trick totem because I'm not a monster. Uh, this is actually kind of a problem because I don't feel safe casting a dead man's hand when that could be counter spell. So I can't play a dead man's hand here, right? It's weird. I have to wait until I hit the brawl. Or just kill the opponent. Like, they have a lot more cards in their deck than I do, so. Lethal? Oh, with uh, Wind Fury? Yeah, I got caught in the value trap of. Uh, we just Bran and Zeph and kill him. Well, I wouldn't Bran, I would just Zeph. But also, then I wouldn't get more Trick Totem value. Well played. Your wish is my sure, I guess we can kill the opponent. I mean, it's always this one, right? Zeph is one off, right? Nope. Thank you to legendary patrons Anonymous Toast, IGN Unknown, Fizzle Jizzix, Molly Mock, Justice Crater, Grokey, Dope Guy, Banfix, Tom, and Neofay.